Hey YouTube, Pete Love with Jilly Head. Welcome to a brand new series for Music Mondays. You'll know from some of my past videos that I really love my synthesizers and I've got a really nice little setup which you might be able to see uh, some of in the background, just there. Um, lots of great drum machines and desktop synths. Um, and these are really good machines which I'm able to get a lot of use out of. One of the things which has really always interested me um, but I've never quite been able to get my head around is modular synthesis. I see uh, all of these photos and videos of these vast banks of modules and wires everywhere and um, I've always found it really really intriguing um, but never quite understood what on earth is going on so um, it, it, I've always found it interesting but never really known where to start with it. So I decided to start doing some research and started to get my head around some of the basics. You know, there's some great articles online about it, tons of videos on YouTube. Um, I'll probably give you some direction to some of those in a, in a different video. You know, I started to do some research and started to get my head around what's needed, what the different kinds of modules do, what's necessary to get you know all the basics together and what are some of the more elaborate uh, modules and what do they do. So I started to learn, started to get my head around things and I decided uh, finally to go ahead and start building my own first Eurorack modular system. So that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, bringing to you over the next few weeks and months. And believe me, it will be months. Um, <laughs> I don't have the biggest of budgets and so I will be buying my modules and installing them on a uh, very slow month by month basis. There may be um, sort of periods of time where you don't really see much information coming from this series. Uh, and that's simply because um, there may not have been um, that many things that I've added to my system, not too many more things for me to go through with you. I will be, um, you know, uploading as much as I can and specifically, you know, at least towards the beginning of the series, there's going to be quite a few videos coming out because, um, you know, I am really eager to get started and in the early days there'll be quite a lot of things to, you know, sort of get to grips with and um, sort of figure out. So. Um, that's it. This series of videos is not intended to be um, an expert's guide to Eurorack Modular. I am a total newbie, okay, and uh, there will be people out there who are far more experienced than me, people who already have vast and, you know, really fantastic systems on the go. Um, but I really want this uh, series of videos to appeal to um, all kinds of people who are interested in Eurorack Modular, um, you know, from the total newbie like me, um, to the people who are already very experienced, you know. Eurorack is one of those um, things which really has a very hardcore following and I'm hoping that um, for the people who are more experienced you'll be able to maybe rediscover um, that joy and that, um, that passion and excitement of building your own system from scratch, you know, from, from your first case arriving to um, actually getting the entire thing um, filled out with modules. But also for those people like myself who started off as a complete newbie to this kind of stuff, you know, just sort of um, going on this journey uh, with me, you know, I'm hoping that you'll, you'll find some of this uh, stuff really informative. You know, it might help you to make some decisions about where you want to go with your Euromac, Eurorack modular system. I'm hoping that uh, whether you're a newbie or um, a more experienced person, you will be able to find um, some really great stuff um, within this series that you'll be able to find useful um, and fun and informative. That being said, um, I cannot wait to start my Eurorack journey. Uh, and build my own first modular system. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a passion which will um, uh, keep growing and developing over many years. Like I say, um, once, you st once you start, you can't stop. You know, that's one of those things with buying synthesizers and gear like this is that you can't really, uh, you can't really stop yourselves. Let's uh, let's get back um, to the start. And uh, in part two, um, I will be talking about um, how I started off trying to plan my system. Um, uh, and also uh, maybe getting on to um, talking about deciding on a case as well. So thanks for watching guys, this has been part one and I'm really glad that you are all joining me on my journey into modular synthesis. Thanks very much guys, stick around for part two, cheers. <laughs>